Ah! Hi, everyone. Hope I scared you. Because I certainly scared Ian Gibson. Hi. Uh, and I certainly scared Seven Days to Die. No, no one else is with us. I was just lazy, so I put Seven Days to Die down there. Um, oh, wow. <clears throat> I'm like halfway through resetting my OBS, and it's been that way for a couple weeks, so I just keep panicking right before oh, wow. the show. Well, you just need to finish the new Extra Life themed overlays, and then I'll just make it and send it out to everybody. Yeah, I do need to do that. Um, folks, we're back this uh, this week, this uh, this Saturday stream to play some more Seven Days to Die. I know we've been on a bit of a Seven Days to Die kick, but it's the sandbox. We like we like playing games here. Uh, I logged on the server a little bit early so we could get through the night. Um, current goals: set up a food system. Food and water, mm -hmm. and um, just continue to make our base tonight. good, sweet. I um I put some farm plot up on the roof, and uh, planted mm -hmm. potato and yucca. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna turn my brightness up a little bit. Everybody at home can see. Um, if you notice, all of the trees Zach and I planted grew an exorbitant rate. Where around, did you put? Uh, on the front side, oh, just... and on that, uh, on wow. the uh, on the north side and the west side. Yeah, and it went a little. Maybe crazy. we should harvest. We all harvest all those because I need to do uh, spikes anyways. Yeah. Oh, which reminds me, I'll. I'll set to build some spikes before I forget. But yeah, um, updates in the world of video games from one Will Crosby. I started playing uh, Dragon Quest Elusive Age Definitive Edition yesterday. Oh, eleven. Yes, Is that eleven. Eleven S. Eleven. Yes, eleven S. Or yeah. spectacular. Is it good so far? Yeah, it's pretty fun so far. Uh, I actually kind of enjoyed it. Uh, as Karen put it, uh, they look like they're from Dragon Ball. And I agree. They do. Uh, or they have Dragon Ball Dra eyes, I think was the phrasing. Dragon Ball's good. Dragon Ball's good. Um, I'm playing that. I've been playing... I, fi I started my holiday video playthrough uh, for RimWorld, and that's going pretty well. We've so far mm -hmm. only had to eat one prisoner. Um, okay. Yep. And then, what else? Did I play anything else? That's pretty much it. Um, I spent today filming at uh, the studio, which was fun. And then, uh, yeah, not much else other than that. You played anything good? Um, I played the first hour of Marvel Marvel apostrophe S colon Avengers. Uh, oh. Prefix Square Enix is. Oh, that was you on the Subpixel account. No, it was not. Well, um, uh, I had a pop that said Subpixel's games are ready to play again. I was like, what? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would do it. That makes sense. Um, Yeah, so that game, you know, I'm going to say it. I played an hour of it. The story, very good so far. Uh, it had some very, like, surprisingly touching moments in the first, like, 10 minutes, and I was in. I was like, yeah. Um, and even though it's still a little weird having the non-MCU Avengers, even though they're trying so hard to be like them, <laughs> but they're just not the same actors, you know? <laughs> so it's like, eh. uh, basically, they, they don't look like them. They don't sound like them because they're not allowed to use the likeness. It's not part of the MCU. But they act just like them, and they look close enough to them, and they sound close enough to them. It sounds like... It's like when you go to a theme park, and they have, like, Darth Vader show at 115. <laughs> That's what it feels like. But at least with Darth Vader, he puts a mask on. <laughs> yeah. But other than, like, the, the character quips, like, the story beats are, are really well written. And so I was enjoying it until the gameplay started. And then I decided not to play that game anymore. <laughs> Gameplay is not good. It's not good, y'all. Um, I actually hit a bug 
where oh. um, it was funny. Maggie was laughing at me. Well, I think first she saw that I was playing an Avengers game and she laughed at me for like being a nerd or something, which is weird because she doesn't laugh at me from all my Gundam or other nerdy things I do. <laughs> but apparently Avengers, which I don't care about, but I happen to be playing an Avengers game and she laughs at me for that. And then she was laughing at me later because I started just like I had headphones on and I was just cursing at the game. And it's because I hit this, kept hitting this issue where the camera was being wonky and the controls were being wonky. And then I eventually hit this point. And again, this is only 45 minutes into the game where the camera, you know how in like uh, Sony first party games do this a lot where they will seamlessly transition from you are in camera control to this is now a cinematic moment. So we are going to sweep the camera around mm -hmm. and do that. It got stuck in between those two. Oh boy. So so I could still move. I could kind of move the camera, but it was like the cinematic camera angle and it was like toggling every 90 degrees. And I could not there was a access point that I knew I had to look at in order to trigger an action on it. And I could not look at it because the camera was so borked. <laughs> and this is like not during a cutscene. This is like they gave me back control of the camera, but it did not hand over control properly. And I had to reload the save. And that just like was the cherry on top of uh, I'm not going to play this game. That's rough. Um, yeah, which is a shame because my expectations right now, actually, not my expectations, my needs for video games right now are very, very low. Uh, Cyberpunk comes out on Thursday. And actually, we discussed this last time on the Xbox store. It says you can start playing at 9 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. Oh, <gasps> yes. Which 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 doesn't match what the cyberpunk Twitter said. But anyways, don't tell them I, by Wednesday night or Thursday morning. I'm going to have a completely different game to dive into. So I just need something to hold me over until then. And this game wasn't even good enough to do that. So pretty yeah, frustrating. Sounds rough. So I, I think I'm just going to hook up my Wii, my parents Wii <gasps> and play uh, Rogue Rogue Squadron. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Rogue like this time. Yeah, I'm kind of just coasting. As much as I like I kind of started I mostly started uh Dragon Age last night because uh coming off a high of uh Karen and I watched Mandalorian, then we watched Zardoz. Oh god, fantastic Zardoz movie. Such, such a great <laughs> great movie. And then it's like it's like the perfect balance between like 60s 70s weird but also like being an actually like decent entertaining movie whereas if you watch something like um barbarella i don't know if you've seen that no Ooh. it's it's only interesting because it's 60s 70s weird other than that it's just like not a good movie but where zardoz is actually kind of a good movie you know yeah i i genuinely it. enjoyed it it was pretty good yeah um, i love it yeah, I, I had downloaded it the other day, and I was like, "Oh, you know, I'll just throw this on." I download. I have that Flash Gordon, and then the He Man movie. And oh, I was I, like, "I'm gonna watch the, the last two. I need to watch as well." I was like, "Just have them sitting on my Plex server." And I'm like, "Whenever I'm like bored or half drunk, like I was last night, I'll just throw these on." Yeah. So yeah, and after Zardoz, I was like, "I don't want to get up from the couch," so I just booted my Xbox. <clears throat> or I flipped over from Plex on my Xbox, and I was like, oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'll start Dragon Age. You know what? I would recommend um, at least playing for like uh, 30 minutes. I played it last night. Is Tetris Effect connected? It's on Game Pass, but I, I played it last night, and I played on the PC. It was good. I played it in VR, underwhelming. Uh, let me tell you something. Playing it in 4K with HDR on... It was like literally searing my eyeballs. That's how like brilliant oh, and really? bright and beautiful it was. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a pretty good experience. 4K HDR. Maybe I should do that. Oh, okay. I literally just uninstalled it. Because <clears throat> uh, I was making I was uninstalling a bunch of games for Cyberpunk. Because I did they announce how big it's going to be on Xbox? I think it's like 70 gigs but they also said i think there's a 45 gig day one patch yeah that'll be fun um yeah. maybe we should hang out but yeah work. it's and, and you know it's different from we, we played the multiplayer 
Yeah. Uh, the, the single player does a really good job of like changing the aesthetic as you're playing the music and the visuals and like, I don't want to call it the tile set, but almost like the theme of the Tetris board. Um, and it's, it's much more cohesive. Nah, it's much more, um, engaging than the multiplayer. So it's definitely worth just sitting down and playing it for a bit. But, but the reason why I'm calling it out is that is a 4k HDR masterpiece. That was yeah. incredible. Okay. I'll check it. Uh, yeah, I'll check it out then. Um, yeah, the HDR especially, cause it does the thing where it's like dark background, bright objects and it just blows you away. Uh, it blows me. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, can you finish the front gate? The easy entrance exit. Yeah. The exits. Yeah. The exit part. Very exit easy. part's easy. Yeah. Let me. Yeah, I let think me that's, that's a priority on top of the. Yeah. I, we don't have a thing out. for. Uh... <clears throat> we don't have a thing for the drawbridge yet. So. Why we can't. Oh, well, we have iron now. I think we have to research it. How do you research? Is it only by books? Yeah. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, uh, uh, neither am I. Building. Am um, I, I realize this game, I wish Zach was here. I realize this game is basically space engineers. Yes. But a different theme. Um, and by that, I mean... I don't like the aesthetic. It feels like a very rudimentary or like an alpha aesthetic. I mean, I know this game's an alpha, but like where it's a lot of like weird placeholder quick assets that don't look good. Um, and the onboarding slash pathing for like leveling up and experience and going through the crafting system is not refined at all. But there's enough core mechanics and unique gameplay elements and it's implemented well enough to be entertaining and interesting and i think it's basically the same with space engineers in this well what do you think about that analogy i like that analogy i agree yeah and i i'm not into this as much as space engineers but that's just because i'm not super into the whole survival zombies thing yeah i just have I, also uh, you got i just like the only thing about like i'm not huge into the zombies thing but the one thing i do like about it is it gives you a like, instead of Minecraft to be about being worried about random things all the time, you're just like, mm -hmm. you know, like, okay, I just have to keep an eye out. Like, it makes basic looting and stuff dangerous, where yeah. you're not, like, free to do whatever you want. Yeah, I hear that. I think, um, I also just hate games that make you worry about your food and water and all that. I just, I don't find that interesting. It's just not for me. Just got really dark. They do a really good job. Oh, it did. It's gonna rain. Yes. Oh, I'm thirsty. Do we have any water? Um, I have some on me. I'm at the front gate. If you want it. Hungry okay, again. Just die. Did you bring? There's a bunch of empty. You don't have to now, but there's a bunch of empty water bottles in the uh, thing, and I think you can go just fill them up, if I remember correctly. Um, or if we're if we're anywhere near a water biome, we can uh, mm -hmm. we can uh, make them make you can collect snow and then uh, do it that way, melt it in the fire. Okay, this is current the current way back in. You just gotta hop. This way, if any zombies come up, they just fall into the pit. Yeah. Okay, that'll work. Can we can we move the hop back? I just don't like the idea of if you miss it, you fall in the pit. Yeah, yeah, I can move it back. Yeah. I mean, this is also just where the probably where the drawbridge will be. So I can just yeah, set up yeah. a separate one that goes right here. Yeah, it's just that's what was getting me was I was like rushing it or if I miss the jump, then I end up in the spikes.
we're almost at when does it is it like dawn of day seven is it like zero hour day seven i think it's night of day seven so like 6 p.m day seven uh no it'll be 20 22 it's the usual night it's just that night yeah, that's, of... that's what i mean it's 6 p.m on day seven yeah okay gotcha oh no Oh, come on. How? I'm fighting this zombie, and she's like six, seven feet away from me, and she's like hitting me before her animation goes off. Oh. Yeah, they're, that, that combat is it's just tough to get used to. It's not good. Don't, don't get me wrong. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm there's okay a way with that. To do if, it. If we get to a point where it's like you have enough good weapons that you don't even have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, like eventually you'll have enough bone arrow or you'll have enough arrows where just walking backwards, shooting them in the head is the best yeah. way to take care of them. Out of wood. Give me your flesh. Also, I think hitting zombies with the axe is how you get rotten flesh. Um, oh, yeah, I could see that. Zombie bodies or just in general? I think zombie bodies. I didn't look it up, but I just think that's how we did it. So, uh, just a heads up. Because I need to make more farm plots. Oh, okay. And shooting with bow and arrow levels you up in bow and arrow, too, so... Gotcha. It's not for nothing. Chicken. Yeah, and skin that with your knife. It gives you like 30 feathers. Where'd you go? You ran into the uh, tall grass like a... I, if you hit it with an arrow, it's a one-shot kill. Karen just cluck clucked at me. Uh, I found him. I was really confused. Where are you going? You're going to play something in the other room? You're going to play some Seven Days to Die in the other room? You mean Dead by Daylight? Oh, there's a song. Uh, do you still have to go to that other trader? Yeah, but I mean, do I, do I need to keep progressing that? Uh, I don't think it goes anywhere. Because I, I don't need to progress if I don't need to. You know. Yeah. Oh, come on, zombie. Hey, I leveled up. I wonder if a skinning knife works on zombies. Nope, it just makes a horrific sound. Okay, I'm gonna do the smart thing and Google how to get rotten flesh. Rotting flesh. Tastes so good, I love it. Harvesting the corpses of blah, blah, blah. How do I harvest it, though? What if you use the bone knife on a corpse? Uh, I did that, and it's it's literally horrible. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's like a... Oh, no, the body disappeared. Boo. I was looking at it the whole time. Boo, your game. Oh, whoops. Sorry. 
Sorry, that upset me that they did that. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What's the thing about water? Um, I think if you have an empty water vessel, like a bottle or something, or a mm -hmm. jar, you can fill it at like a water thing. And uh, you put it in the fire and you can cook boiled water. Oh, okay, gotcha. Out of murky water. I almost shot a lady up her skirt. Which would have been a real feat. I'm ready for day seven. You know what I mean? I want to see how this moat does. They start digging. That's the worst part. Okay, this what? zombie I killed keeps making noise. They dig? Yeah, so they'll they'll start like digging the ground in the moat to get up under you. Oh wow. Yeah, it's creepy. Okay, but, they, but they should be But like spikes deteriorate. So. Oh, so we've got to fill the gaps. Yeah, or repair them. Gotcha. Running flesh. That was not it. Do I have any food on me? I'm so confused. I keep my disc. I keep getting like Discord pops, but I don't. I don't know which server it is that's popping. You know. Uh, what I, mean? I just mute everything. Yeah, the problem is I've got a couple. Well, no, they they are most of it's muted. So I'm looking for the red dots that tell me a new message came through you know oh i get you what yeah that's a, always a... okay i guess you can't get rotting flesh from zombies Yeah, I think we definitely need to get food and water up because it's starting to mess with me. Where was the closest? Oh, is there a water source near you? It looks like there's a a pool in the complex you're in. Oh, oh yeah, there is. The... Oh, it looks horrible. That's broken water. You well, know, we can I still boil it. Right? I have jars with me. Oh, yeah. Um, is there like a rainwater collection tub we can build? Me? Oh, okay. So yeah, I just filled all four jars I have with murky water. Nice, thank you. So there's there's a bunch of jars in the... Uh... Oh, we should party up. Uh, if you want to come over here, there's a bunch of stuff to loot. Uh, no, I'll let you loot. Okay. I'll run over there for water at some point. I kind of just want to finish this. Oh, right. I can't wait. I can't tell if this lady's bikini is supposed to be like Britain? Sure. It's like a bikini, but it vaguely looks like a Union Jack. I guess it's not a bikini, it's just like clothing. I 
Okay, nobody wants to watch that. <laughs> Almost done with the digging. Hello, anybody home? Ooh, found bullets in a sink. And water. And nothing. Oh, that is way faster. Uh, you said you watched The Mandalorian. Are you all caught up? Yeah. How are you feeling? Uh, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it still. Yeah, I, I, I'm enjoying it. I think it's... I, I don't want to say it's not quite as good as season one, but I feel like I'm... I don't know if that's a reflection on season two or if it's just... It's getting very formulaic. It feels like every episode is like set up for an action scene, action scene, and then like a and then like a slowdown from that. Yeah. And, and while they're still advancing the story, it's just like every episode is just an action scene, and it's like, all right, you got to start mixing it up here a bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I feel like they're in a groove where they're like, uh, like the way I can see it is like, hey, let's get through this next couple episodes. Like we have to do this like to get it to where we want it. To be a little more open. Yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> um, it's just easier I, I was to just do think that. Yeah, I was just thinking, you know, like it's it's a lot of people compare it to like, um, you know, like an old Western show where, you know, there's like a, a main character and they're kind of traveling around having these different adventures. Yeah. But I was thinking about those and, you know, we watched Little House on the Prairie a couple of years ago. Great show, by the way. Um, and the thing about Little House on the Prairie was that, like, it was that same type of story where it's like every story, uh, every episode of story, you're building along a general story, but there's also like little nuances within each episode, et cetera. But it was like there was so much variety in each episode, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And Mandalorian's just not doing that. It's it's changing up the setting. But it's just starting to be like, oh, here's another action sequence for five, ten minutes. And I'm not saying the action sequences are bad, but it's like you got to mix it up. Yeah. And I don't think they're doing that enough. I think it. I think it was fine for the first season, and I think the second season is more of the same. And the problem is, for me, it's it's a bit too same. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I'm not minding it too much. Like I, I'm just chewing it up so uh um, yeah same like i'm still gonna watch it i'm still enjoying it i'm just uh, i'm starting to get a little worried about yeah oh that man's head exploded um, like if they do a third season that's the same as the second season in terms of like because i think about the second season, i think like literally every single episode is like a problem happens there's a big action scene and that's like the, the core of the each episode is a big action scene and it's like if they keep doing that for another season, it's like, all right, you guys got to mix it up, you know? So. Oh, that's right. I don't... All right. Pit is dug, but now I need wood. So I'm just going to be digging. Okay. Um, uh, Chris pointed something out to me today that the place they go to uh, in that episode is a, is a fast travel point from... Uh, un, uh, fallen order, or the, oh, like the exact location, or like the style. The the yeah the the temple thing, style of it is a. Uh, those are the like Dark Souls oh, things. Yeah. In I could see it that like real mediocre ass Star Wars game from last year. Yeah, no, but that's he's saying that the Jedi they're gonna contact. They think is gonna be the kid from. Force Unleashed, Force Unleashed, um, Fallen Order. Oh, 
Calcastus. Yes, Cal- that's his name. That is. Couldn't think of it. Caliboy Castaro. I, I do feel like I need to go watch in uh, Clone Wars, especially since that was a Dave Filoni project, and he's doing a great job on Mandalorian. Yeah, I've thought about watching Clone Wars a couple times. Probably gonna do it after I finish Sopranos. The Sopranos. Ba-da-da. So, Matt, that's about your neighborhood, the Jersey. No, I have no real desire. I don't like. It's pretty good. It's very, it's very gangster movie. So you got to be into that. I like gangster. Like I like Goodfellas. I like Godfather. But and you should, I don't... you should watch this. It's the exact same thing. Yeah. Very well done. The exact same thing. I feel like it it doesn't it doesn't really appeal to me but I, I could like it yeah it's it's i would say if you like gangster movies just watch this it's basically a exact same thing just a tv show so um and it's pretty well done they had a really good episode that i watched sometimes the episodes are a bit i don't want to say formulaic but they get a bit um if you noticed old HBO shows, um, I noticed this with Deadwood and Sopranos has it a little bit where they don't sometimes they don't really know how to end an episode. So like it, it feels like the episode just ends randomly or they miss a good opportunity to end an episode. You know, like there's a great scene. You're like, bam, end it. And then there's like four more scenes after that. <laughs> mm-hmm. It happened with Deadwood and it's starting to happen. Well, it was happening with Sopranos. They've gotten better at it. And it's just like, man, you were so close to like a perfect ending to an episode, but you decided to add five more scenes onto it. Um, and then the other thing they do, I don't know if this is because, I don't know if their editor was just stupid or if they were like <laughs> pressed for time or something. But out of every episode, there's at least like 10 scenes that end they end with the actor's dialogue. So if like I say the word carry out, they will cut on the T to the next scene. Like it's so tight. The editing is so tight to the dialogue that it's frustrating. Oh, I wonder if like, Uh, is it a long episode? Like, I wonder if they're doing that to like really shave off the seconds to fit an episode. That's that's what I thought. But the other thing is it's HBO. So, I mean, they probably have a time window. Yeah. I, I wonder if it was different. Was it different back then? I don't think so. Yeah, because uh, that's the only the thing I can think of so different from each other. Yeah, that, that's why that's why I brought it up, because it's just like and it's not every scene, but it's just like some scenes will just be like, boom, carry out, boom, cut, like almost cut on the syllable. And it's it's like frustrating. It's like oh. now that I'm doing more editing, it's like I see that and I'm like, nope, nope, escape, <laughs> get out of full screen, yeah. find it, <laughs> extend it a little bit. OK, bring it back. OK, looks good now, you know. It's a little, I think it's maybe just an editor's quirk for whoever's editing it. Yeah, that's weird. Um, but it's good. Okay. All right. Let me craft these. I'm trying to organize these chests a little bit. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but I wasn't sure how you would actually. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm going to put a chest, I'm going to build one and put it next to the <gasps> forge for metals and stuff. Yeah. Are there signs like in Minecraft? Oh, I I don't actually remember. You just search it. That's not how you spell sign. Yeah, there's wooden signs. We need nails. S E I N Z. I think you can. I don't want to say craft nails, I think you forge nails. Yeah, let me go down. Oop. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm just going to play some. I've had a weird weekend where I don't have anything going on this weekend except for my current model project. And I ran out of paint that I need. And I thought it was going to be delivered today and it didn't get delivered. So I just kind of like laid around and watched YouTube and Sopranos today. Nice. I like I really needed a video game to play, but there wasn't one. So I'm like, 
uh, I don't know. You know. Yeah. I started on a, of a tiny Yamato my dad got me for my birthday. A uh, Bandai. Oh, so I started building that. That's nice. And then, um, um, yeah. I got my giant. I got one of my giant boxes of Gunplug today. Nice. I need to, um, I need to get back into it. It's kind of funny. I got the O, the one that you have. <gasps> Diaper boy! Wait, uh, same yeah, high grade? Yeah, high grade. Yeah. Nice. Because I, I wanted to order this thing that was is a pre-order is limited. It's this it's a high grade, but it's giant because of who the the mobile suit is. And um, it was like 50 bucks from Gundam Planet. And I was like 150 to get to free shipping. And I was like, well, I guess I'm buying $150 worth of Gunpla. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought all that. And then it was funny because it came in today. And I took a picture and I tweeted it and I tagged Gundam Planet. And they and they they replied. They were like, "Wait, we shipped this. Yes, they were like, we shipped this. We packed this less than twenty four hours ago. <laughs> so for some reason, it just got here like super fast. Even though they shipped me an order, they shipped me a different order on Monday, and it's still not here yet. So for whatever reason, this one package got here in less than twenty four hours. Um, but it's funny because I made that order like two months ago because it was a pre order." So you have to send me that. send me a picture. I want to see that. That sounds cool. Oh, it's on it's on uh, Twitter. Twitter. But once I make the big one, I'll send you that one as well. I um yeah, I need to get back into that. I I also I've rekindled a little bit my paper houses stuff. So I want to do like a yeah. after Christmas. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna order a bunch off eBay. Um, I had I'm having a really good time with my current Tamiya model. It's my first time doing a Tamiya kit and the detail on it and just like the engineering of the build is fantastic. Like it's it's almost like Gunpla quality where you know like with a Gunpla the way they design it you can't put it's very hard to put pieces on wrong because most of the time they design it so it only goes on one way. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a lot of like fine detail on it as well. Tamiya is just like that. So like going from a Ravel kit which was like Half the pieces, they were just like, slap it on there and you have to make sure it's straight. Or like, you put it together and it's together perfectly, but the details don't match up and the details aren't good. To be a, it doesn't have any of those problems and it's great. Oh, um, I never thought, yeah, like I said, it, if I had the like brain of will now back then, like since I last built models and all this knowledge of like, how a different model maker might have a different way. Cause I only built rebel kits. So like that makes so much yeah. more sense that like I fell off of it. Yeah. Because their stuff's not crazy good. Yeah. It's like, you have to put a lot of work in to make it look better. Um, but, but anyway, so like doing the Tamiya kit, which looks fantastic. And then also like, I'm getting really good at painting especially with the airbrush because it's like, like half of it is using the hair, airbrush but the other half of it is like figuring out okay what is the correct assembly order here you know like i know these two pieces are going to glue together but should i paint them when they're together should i paint them beforehand do i airbrush it do i hand brush it and then like i'm getting a lot better at weathering as well like that a10 turned out really good mostly because of the weathering i i no longer feel like that anxiety about like Oh, I want to build this kit, but I'm going to screw it up, you know, or like it's only 20 bucks, but it's, I'm going to put so much time into it. I'm going to screw it up. Yeah, I don't feel that anymore. You know, like I only feel that about the clear coat because I still haven't figured out how to do a proper clear coat. Because sometimes when you put a clear coat on it, especially with a spray can, it'll leave like little bubbles in the clear coat and that kind of messes it up. But I, um, I just, I like, I, man, it's, it, it, it's it's great. So now I'm like, yeah, whatever kit I want, I'll buy it and I'll build it and it'll look great. So it feels awesome. That's awesome. Being able to do that. What uh what what glue are you hawking for that thing? Um so there's two that I use. Um I highly, highly, highly recommend them. One of them is the Tamiya plastic cement. Um it's it comes in like a little square jar. And it's like, it's, it's liquid. It's very, very liquid. But what's great about it is, especially for kits that are good, and the Tamiya is very good with this, the, Rev, the Ravel I was able to use it most of the time. If you have two pieces that fit flat together, you put them together, and then you brush on the Tamiya glue on the seam, 
and it seeps into the seam. Mm. So so you so you're not using like the normal tube stuff, which is like goopy. That's crap because it doesn't it doesn't dry quickly enough, and it's like it it adds weight and mass to it. And if you try and squeeze it together, then it squeezes out. But this is like you put them together flush, and then you you brush this on, and it seeps into the seam. And then the other one I use is um, the same thing, but it's quick setting, so it sets within like a minute. So I use that for parts that are very delicate and that are in a weird position mm -hmm. so that I can like hold them together, brush it on, wait two minutes, and then they're set. Um, basically those two. That's all I use now. And then I, I do use Ravel, but any of the others, they have ones specifically for windows and clear plastic. So that way the fumes don't mess with the plastic. Um, and then I also, the Ravel goopy stuff, I still have that just in case sometimes there's a gap or um, like with the airplane. Um, the airplane, the airplane was, okay, this, this was crap. This is crap. The airplane was like, hey, in order to balance this, you need to put some weights in the front, yeah. like in the front inside of the nose. Didn't tell me how much. So I put some in there. I put the model together. I left a small hole behind the cockpit and then I finally had it together on the wheels and I went to balance it and it wasn't enough weight in the front, <laughs> but the thing was already together. So I had to buy fishing weights, you know, like the little, little ball lead balls that go around a fishing line. I had to buy them and I squeezed a bunch of glue, like super glue and the, the Revell glue on them and then dropped them through the <laughs> hole like one by one. <laughs> I had to do like 15 of them like that. Like drop them through the hole, shake them down to the bottom, let them dry overnight, and then it was balanced properly. That's great. Um, so that's when I use the goopy stuff is for weird stuff like that, or if there's a big gap that I really need to fill. Um, gotcha. Oh, oops. But yeah, other than that, it seems fine. Do you? Did you put water in there? Sorry, I'm just. Really uh, I have here. I just dropped some yucca. You can have. Oh. I could just eat that. Yeah. Thanks. Or it's in a jar. Yuck and juice. Um. Yeah. So I. It's it's nice, being able to now have all these model kits, and I'm like, I can make all these work. I can make them all look good. Um. The only I, I say that, but the only thing is I still get antsy over when you with gunpla, the stuff that's pre painted or pre molded, mm -hmm. like leaving no marks behind from the nub, even after sanding. I still have trouble with that. But now with the airbrush, I can just be like, you know what? I screwed this up so bad. I'm just going to repaint it in a different color. <laughs> yeah, I that's the one thing that gets me. There's always something. But yeah, that's definitely the one thing with the. Gunpla that always gets me is I'm like, oh, uh, like it's like barely visible, but also I yeah. can see it. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to say it right now and I need you to hold me to it. It's going to take me a, a couple months, but I've decided I have I don't think you have this one. It's just like the generic. HG grandpa Gunpla. Gundam. Um. I have one of them. It's just like a $10 kit. It was actually the first kit I did. I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to paint it. I I'm going to make a subpixel Gundam. That's oh, what I'm going to do. I like that. Because I also found out you could print your own water slides. Um, oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm going to repaint it in like a black red green blue scheme and then i'm going to put some subpixel decals on it so it should be pretty cool i like this this is a good idea yeah. it's gonna take me a bit i would like that well, it shouldn't take please. me too thank long. you character's cold and i'm wet me too get by the fire um yes yeah, so i'm excited for that that should be cool because i Water slides, I'm much better at them now, and they add so much nice little detail. 
So I, I'm excited to print my own. I think you get like for like 10 bucks, 10 bucks, you get like 20 sheets. I'm sorry, for what? 10 bucks? 10 bucks, you get 20 sheets of like water slide decal paper Ooh. that you can use in your printer. Okay, so for the drawbridge, so there's a working, uh, there's at least I think there's two working, uh, duh, what are they called? Workbenches. And so for the drawbridge, we need 20 springs and 20 mechanical part or 30 mechanical parts. And I think with a wrench, you can get those, which is through salvage operation. So eventually we need to get a wrench. How do we get a wrench? You got a, and it's another perk to get a wrench. Oh, uh, well, I've got some skill points. If you go, if you search wrench in your thing, it'll take you to, you can hit perk and it'll take you to the perk. Oh, that's nice. You can also find them. Uh, but who yeah, wants to I'm do that? Yeah, I'm just not crazy about looting in this game. Oh, the vultures are out. You want to come kill these goobers with me? Oh, I like those guys. Um, yeah, just let me build a chest first. There's three of them over by me. Because I think there's like four or five. Where are you? Stand... Oh, I see. Like if I stand still, they come at me. Yeah, they'll fly down to you. Come on. Worms fell in the swings. Because we'll get a bunch of feathers from these guys. Yeah, these guys are usually great. I remember them last time. Oh, this isn't you. It is a zombie. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought it was you. Oh, I'm doing terribly. What's the best way to kill these vultures? Uh, they'll usually, they should fly down to you. Ow. I'm gonna go to like an open field. Oh. Speaking of, this one has flown down to me. Yeah. So this one flew down to me and then I killed it. Also, I'm infected now, so that's great. They're like, not really flying down to me. It might have been because I was fighting another zombie near it, but just got 30 feathers. Oh, well. Ow! Ow! Oh, this other one flew down to me and killed me! Well, okay. at least I don't have to worry about my sprained leg anymore. Or your infection, right? Oh yeah, true, true. Double whammy. Guys, if you have a debilitating disease, just kill yourself. You'll respawn. You'll be perfectly fine. Um, oh, I, I meant to bring this up. Uh, Ian, I'm about to say a very offensive phrase. And I don't want you to be offended. I'm just putting it out here. I'm about to say an extremely offensive Is phrase. Is it the one that I said before the stream the other day? <laughs> Speed... <laughs> Uh, there's a, I have something to do with that later. Maybe it came uh, from Jimmy. <laughs> it did not come from me. I've never heard that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, this phrase is a uh, blind playthrough. Very offensive phrase. Very offensive phrase yeah. that was uh, removed from Twitch because of how offensive it is. Yeah. And uninclusive it is. I. Um, someone put it into words that I thought were funny. Which someone said, is anyone actually offended by this phrase? To which the person replied, no, but I think that the person who runs HR at Twitch just needed to do, needed to, something to do uh, to prove that they needed their job. Because blind playthrough has nothing to do with blind people. Neither does going in blind. Well, or You know what? I'm sorry, but there are blind playthroughs. 
where they put on blindfolds. That too. Or when uh, maybe uh, it's just like I'm not one to be like people are oversensitive, but it's like oh, somebody there's a maybe a vulture coming towards you. Sorry, I'm in the basement, so it's not me. Oh, I thought you were on the roof. I guess I'm looking at a plant. I realize there's that uh, basement to this place that I have not checked for zombies. Um, we, if you got spikes, lay them down, goofer. Oh yeah, I have a couple. Let me just finish up down here. Oh, there's a hog over here. Squee! Kill him. Take his mate. Take his mate. Oh, he's attacking me. I have the Grim Reaper. Near death trauma. I have two vultures and a hog on me. Try if not you to go. Jeez. That was. I started attacking the hog. Hog came after me, jumped the fence, and then two vultures came down. I'll just go back, Grandma Stuff. I'm just gonna do it all. My thing just told me try not to die for a while. How dare you? Oh, this vulture's coming down after I'm one. Is it you? Is it me? I don't know. You want to follow me? Well, we'll get the hog all in. the way up there. Yeah, where'd you go? Uh, out the gate. Do, 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 do. I see you. Vulture's coming. Oh, well, they're really coming. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, this combat man's getting on my nerves. I wonder if I killed you. I don't think you did. Oh. There was a vulture on me and a pig. I killed the I killed the pig. I'm harvesting him for pig. delicious pig materials. Meat. Okay. Uh, I did buy the cooking uh, perk, by the way. So I can make good meat now instead of charred meat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good on you. Good on you, lasagna. Good on you, bud. Okay, how do I plant uh... trees? Plant seeds? Yeah, I just put them on the ground. Yeah, so when you have them in your hand, they'll just appear. Yes. Got it. Okay, I'm just gonna. What was splitting a stack again? I think it was. It's in your hand, and then you right click it, like like, you know what I mean? Like you're dragging, then you right click. I believe is what it was. Right click, <clears throat> hold and drag a stack. Oh, it's just right click. Yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of drinkable water in the uh, furnace or in the campfire. Okay, thanks. And I'm grilling up some meat. You want to just like drop your spikes somewhere, and I can take care of them for you. Yeah, I, I only have ten. That's fine. It's more than I got. I kind of mined out all the trees. There's a bunch of acorns up here, too, if you want to go plant more trees. Yeah, maybe I should. By acorns, I mean pine cones. I'm real excited for uh, Cyberpunk. Yeah, I. you know, honestly, I'm really worried, though. I've been bouncing off so many games lately that I'm worried. I'm going to bounce off Cyberpunk as well. I just oh. want a big game to get into, you know? Yeah, I think you're going to hate it off the bat, but... 
I don't think so. Because it's not like I hate the games. Like, I I didn't really get into Yakuza, you know? Yeah. They were talking about that difficulty spike in it on... Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can um, see that. Ben was saying, like, he had heard of it. So he was, like, trying to kill extra enemies. Like, to gr mm -hmm. so he didn't have to do a big grind. And then he had to grind for six hours in, in order to... Yeah. Like, get through the next I part. Would've. I got all the way to the last mission in Fire Emblem Awakening. And um, I lost in that mission twice and I was like, I got to level up. So I'm going to have to grind for like five hours. And then I just didn't finish the game. <laughs> <laughs> like literally I was on the last mission. I was like, ah, I'm just not going to do it. Classic. That uh, Fire Emblem 30th came out. Oh yeah. I um I I tried to pre-order the uh sold out thing but or the collector's edition but boy do people want that. Well, I think uh, if you follow Wario 64 he's been showing it's Yeah, it it goes out of me. It I think it's so it's in order of things selling out fast. It is PS5 Fire Emblem 30th edition 30th anniversary then it's the 3080s. No, no. It's 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 all RTX cards. Then PS5. Yeah, fire. yeah, yeah, yeah. All RTX cards. Yeah. But um, boy, I was like, it like Wario sixty four posted a thing, and it was less. I didn't. Need, that's another one that I didn't even see it change. Yeah, like by the time you're there, it's it's done. Yeah. So I'm like, screw it. Uh, but I might buy it. I was I was I thought it'd be funny to like play that game. Um. I was also thinking about, and this is all probably post cyberpunk now, but thinking about playing Chrono Trigger. Um, okay. uh, never, never played it, but it looked good. Yeah, Chris and uh, his around the monitor guy Zach, they were filming today, so we were talking about JRPGs, and he was like, "Yeah, if you ever wanted to get into one," I was like, "Oh, what one would you recommend?" And he said, "Chrono Trigger. It's an eleven-hour game. It's perfectly paced." Um, oh wow really yeah Man, i may have to play that every enemy you attack is meant for you to be attacked everything's leveled to you like oh, that's so nice you kill the certain amount like you will always kill the right amount of enemies to be in the right spot so i was like yeah. you know what that sounds really good that reminds me i need to play the final fantasy 7 remake um because oh, i man. only played like a third of the original but i really enjoyed it i played it last year and I've heard the remake is very good. So. It made me angry that when they, when they're different, that they're different. I was kind of upset about. Well, that. do you? Can I? Can I tell you what the difference is? No, that, that I know what the difference heard? is. I know the whole concept of it, but I, I still like. That's, it's kind of. I, no, it's really cool. I, I I think we had this discussion. I think that's a yeah a very very cool move. But it also annoys me because I'm like, oh, I want to see the original original, even though it still accounts for some of the original stuff, but. Yeah. Uh, but in the end, who cares? I certainly don't. Okay. There is... Oh. Yeah, the original still... I feel like you would... Uh, the I, you would love the original. You know what? Honestly, maybe that should be a sub-pixel feature. Uh, the problem is I don't like JRPGs that much. What is it about JRPGs? I really, I really don't. Because I can't say I don't like turn-based. I, I mean, yeah, maybe it is. I don't like that style of turn-based combat. Like picking spells, picking attacks. Like the Pokemon combat. Yeah, but Final Fantasy VII, it's not overwhelming. Like, they don't throw a whole bunch of stuff at you at once. I guess that's true. So. Oh, God. You, did you fall on the spike? I did. I just, That's why I don't like them. <laughs> just see you fighting these. But there's another one on you. There's two. I know. It's, I think as soon as you, as soon as there's blood, they come down. Oh, take them out. I have suffered an abrasion. How am I not hitting him? That was better in this game. <laughs> okay, I got him.
Um, Another one still. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm just not great at platforming in this. Good news is I have a lot of wood. Good news is there's about to be a lot of feathers out here. Nice. I don't want to accidentally hit your backpack, so I'll do this bird first. Thank you. Okay, we're good. And rotten flesh. Dope. Rotting. Nice. Okay, let's make some arrows. Craft 131 arrows. Yes, please. Hey, you want to you drop your traps while you're next to me? Uh, they're up upstairs. I had dropped them oh, okay. earlier. It is officially night. So this is nighttime. Like, this is when the yes. horde will be. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. I just wasn't sure. No, that's fine. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be day seven, twenty-two hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd you, where'd you oh, put them traps, boy? Don't tell me they disappeared. I think they disappeared. Yeah. I like physically dropped them. Hey, uh, I'm gonna put. This is charred meat. This is raw meat. If you want to cook your better meal. Yeah. Did you um, rotting flesh? No. Oh, you don't have any? No, I didn't get any. Oh, weird. Birds gave me a bunch. Uh, uh do, do you have to... Uh, you don't have to skedaddle, do you? Oh, you mean time-wise? No, time -wise? I think I'm good. Okay, cool. I mean, we don't have to play too much longer. I just wanted to make sure you didn't have to run, run, run. I'm going to make a bandage just to have one on. I think Final Fantasy VII is on Game Pass. Maybe I'm thinking of eight. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it is. I think you're right. Can I not make wooden stairs? What's a wooden catwalk slash stairs? Craft one of those and see what it looks like. You still need nails? Uh, yes. Uh oh, someone's Here's trying to break in. Where? How is that stairs? I think it's over. Oh, he must have died not... in the spikes. Nice. Yeah, north wall and east wall look clear. Oh, you know what? That's what I can do right now is finish building this uh, upper ramp. Rampart. Oh, there's a doggy right there. Oh, the doggies attack zombies? Oh, do they? Is he attacking a zombie? Yeah. Look to could, the be a, could be a wolf. And not oh, a zombie yeah, dog. Maybe a, maybe a wolf. Oh. Put the crafted block in your hotbar, hold the reload action, and select the shape entry in the... Oh. Oh my god, that sounds way too complicated. I don't think that's how it used to be. Oh, you freaking idiot. Freaking R ballpark. is the reload button. How many nails do you think you need? Ten? Um... Yeah. What, what were the nails for again? 
Aren't they for the gate? Drawbridge? Yes. No, no. Nails were for something else. How do I... Okay. Oh, no. Okay, that works, sort of. No, dummy. No. Oh, I just noticed the electricity still on. There's Where? lights in here that are on. Oh, down in the the doldrums. In the, no, in the building. Oh, I see you on the roof. Hi. Oh yeah, we should try to make more candles. How many zombies show up on on day seven? Uh, usually a lot. The I changed the maximum like zombies spawning at one time to fifty. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's like that means like as soon as one dies, more can show up. So I think at most there'll be like fifty at the same time. Okay. I think I hear a chicken. <laughs> that was a bad chicken noise. <laughs> no! Oh, crap. I don't like this new system for stairs. It looks pretty awful. Also, you want to turn up your brightness? It's really hard to see on stream. Yeah, I, I cranked it up. I think it's okay. Uh, these puppies. These puppies. Shape. I'm in love with the shape of you. Okay, that part worked. How do I turn a flashlight on? Oh. Oh, that's a bright flashlight. Wait, you can see it? I'm watching this stream. Oh. Let's see if I can see it. Go up to the roof. Oh, I can see it. 
That's awesome. That's really good. Yeah, like I see it completely. That's awesome. That's neato. I wonder if I can strap. I wish I could strap it to my head. That's real handy. You see the stairs I built over here? Yeah. Yeah, pretty gnarly. Well, that zombie died on the spikes. Oh, blew his head off. I love the slow clanking of you building. Uh huh. He's been working on the railroad all of the live long day. He's been breaking all the computers because he thinks he's cool. <laughs> oh, almost. Cool. Dumb. Yeah, broke that locker. And Zach's gonna be so pumped while this iron we're getting him. Yeah. He's gonna not even know what to do with it. He's gonna say, really? All that? We're gonna go, yeah. Did you just make a zombie sound? Yeah, you are, okay. Just get a crap Oh, that's a Zach sound. Yeah, that's a Zach sound. Oh, we are a little tired. So many computers down here. I know in the basement. And vents. It's cray cray. Oh, there's some trash down here. Nothing in it. Think there's anything below this floor? Maybe. Yeah, what did I need nails for? I don't remember. Just want to finish my spike pit. Spike pit. Oh boy, yeah, I'm ready for uh Cyberpunk, I'm a little worried because people were talking about how there are copies already out in the wild because of retailers misshipping, misdelivering, etc. And it's pretty buggy for some people. Yeah. But granted, they don't have they don't have the day one patch, etc. And then the other thing is um people pointed out that Witcher 3 was pretty buggy at launch. Yeah. Which so I think they're trying to avoid this time. Yeah, I could see that. But I, I think trying and doing are two yeah. different things. So that's kind of my big worry is, well, there's two big worries. One that I'll bounce off it for no explicable reason. And the other one being that it's going to be buggy to the point of unenjoyable. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I know. I'm ready to see some first impressions. Yeah. They were saying, uh, as far as the, the bugginess, they're saying anyone who has it right now is two patches 
away from release day. Oh, really? There's a there's like a ten. There's I I don't remember the number on it, but there's a there's a big patch for all the game preview versions of the game, and then there's the mm-hmm. day one, which is a forty three gig patch, or it might gotcha. be the other way around. I can't remember. Oh, those don't mix. Add remover mode. It's raining. It's raining. Man. We got 7,400 Duke's Casino tokens. Wow, that's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. Claw hammer. Daytime. What do you think? Good place to call it. Um, let's finish the spikes out. Let's let's band oh, right. together and just knock that out, and then we'll call it. Because I, I think it's mostly just getting wood and finishing it up. Boop boop. Okay, let me get, grab some wood. I'm to the south, just tearing apart this like shed complex out here. There's a that barn had a bunch of wood in it. I don't think you're gonna get as much wood from that stuff. Well, I've already gotten like twenty wood from it. I think it's more that it's just close, you know. Yeah. I need to uh, check the despawn rate on the server because I probably up it. Because, yeah. like, if I'm having zombie bodies disappear in front of my eyes, kind of annoying. Man, I forgot how much XP you get from cutting down trees. Yeah, it's a decent amount.
I will say my favorite cyberpunk tweet so far was someone tweeted a picture of the genital selector and it said mm-hmm. uh it said I think it said penis two size big and it was like it was like pubic hair five or something and uh yeah Austin Walker t- uh responded to it says still still holding out for penis three <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Man, it's uh I don't know if you've been following some of the controversy around sex and gender in Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, I just saw the one about like they were saying they were exploiting the the transgender thing. Um, yeah. It's uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> like I am not informed on that subject enough, but I think there are bad arguments on both sides. So, yeah. Um and also, yeah. like, that original argument was over, was, granted, it's a poster that's that C- CD Projekt Red made, but it's a poster they made for a corporation within a world that is ex- then exploiting, like... Yes, yeah. Same reason, like, you don't be like, yo, Bethesda, I can't believe you put swastikas in your game about Nazis... Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I understand there's nuances and differences, but it just goes to show um, you can't necessarily please everyone. Yeah, because I, I saw a tweet. It was either a tweet or an article today criticizing that you could select different genitalia regardless of your gender. And they said, because I i identify less with genitalia and more with voice selection because i i identify i'm male identifying as female but i want to have a male voice because that's more realistic to me and that the genitalia doesn't matter in that context and it was like well they're they're letting they're they're beating you halfway you (laughs) know it's like i'm sorry they're not meeting every single nuance of what you want here but yeah and also they're doing more than most games are yeah and there's still like a character in a game. Yes. Um, so it, it's it's definitely like, and then there's people who don't want to play the game at all because it lets you pick which genitalia you have regardless of your gender choice. Yeah. And it's like, okay, now you're being ridiculous as well. Okay, I need to go stand by the fire for a second. My character's cold. Yeah, it's. I don't think anyone can be happy ever. No, it's not allowed. It's actually illegal. Yeah. So. If you could be unhappy right now, that would be great. Uh, I'll try to. I need to make... Oh, I just realized my character's not wearing a shirt anymore probably why I'm cold. Seasons change everything, Ian. Okay, where do the spikes need to be? Um, You'll have to look around. I think the south side is done. They need to be in the pit and on the upper lip. In the pit and on the upper lip. Yeah. Oh no. You're going to hate me for that. It's what? facing the wrong direction. Oh, I don't care about that. I really don't like the rotation. I feel like the mouses are the mouse feels, clicks are switched. Yeah, it feels naughty. You know? Like it shouldn't it should just be E Q and E or R. Yeah. It should not be left click to rotate. So yeah, long story short, I don't care about that. Found fifty four dollars. Nice. Real life or in game? Um, I did find a generator bank. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know this. So there's these shipping crates, and you can't search them. But if you hit them enough to bust the wood out, then you can search them. Si, senore. 
Probably makes sense because I think Zach and I have gotten to them first. All right, put a shirt on game. Are you happy? <laughs> Ooh, bird's nest. Oh, it's empty. For shame. Oh, no. Is that a zombie noise or is that a me noise? Yeah, there's two zombies near me. Okay. You're far away from me. They're at the red barn. Come on down to Red Barn. You can get two zombies for the price of one. Yeah, you really don't get anything from their corpses. Yeah, you can find zombie corpses and break those, but they're like pre-placed zombie corpses. Oh yeah, those spikes do go away. Yeah, you can just re you can repair them like anything else with like the right click. Yeah. Action. Oh, I'm almost leveled up again. Yeah, leveled up. Level eight, baby. In the future. Planting more trees as well. Okay, I got 20 more spikes. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of, um, just to bring it back about five minutes, it kind of reminds me of the whole difficulty accessibility argument over, I think it was Sekiro that uh, spawned that. And it's like, um, there's a lot of bad faith arguments on both sides, you know? Yeah. I do think a valid argument, not that I necessarily agree with it 100%, but I think a valid argument is people who are boycotting the game because of the um the work conditions at CD yeah. Project Red. 
that has not been great, especially since they basically said we're never going to work overtime. And it turns out people were working overtime and then they had a period of mandatory overtime. Just a lot of mishandling of that. So I, I, I don't feel strongly enough about that to boycott the game, but I, I understand people who do. Yeah, definitely. How are we doing on spikes, by the way? Uh, it's just that one. It's just the in the pit run on that uh, northern side. Okay. I think I'm crafting like 20 right now. So let yeah, me finish yeah, this tree and I'll come back. It should be able to fit it all. Drink some water. I realize it's probably good to hold on. I'm, I'm going to always have probably one skill point because I feel like there's always something that pops up and we need something right away. Yeah, I've been doing that as well, but mostly because I can't decide what I want. So you said on the north side? In yeah, the pit? north side. Okay. I'm crafting oh, yeah, that's 11. Ooh, Oof. That was a big one. I'm glad that was synced for both of us. Yeah, I like that. I'm glad we finally got this done. Yeah. Oh, I found a gas can. 192. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's one in, I think it's my box. Two more. Yay! Nice. It's gorgeous, y'all. Oh, we got a gap over here. Uh oh. Yay! And then, oh, gap here. Uh oh. Yay! I think there's one gap over here, but it's a zombie created gap. I lured one over. Lured. <clears throat> over here, I did a cool thing where I rotated it each time I Every placed time. it. So it's kind of like a stop motion movie. Fancy. Okay, I think. We're done. Ain't that fancy? I think we did it. Folks, that has been the entire season of the Sandbox. We've protected our home. We're done. That's it. Nailed it. Uh, I'm going to drop some stuff off if you want to start the yeah. outro to my baby. Uh, folks, we are Subpixel. Bumping up, bump, 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 bump. Um, Thank you for watching. If you did watch. If you didn't watch, thank you for not watching. Uh, we do streams Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. 9 p.m. Eastern. Be if, that M, baby. If you want to watch our stuff and you can't watch it live, you can tune in to our YouTube channel. Tune into our YouTube channel. Go to our YouTube channel. Subpixelfilms.com will bring you right there. Uh, and you can check out all of our awesome content. Oh, I just made a big boo-boo. Um, Daddy boo-booed. Okay, we're all set now. Um, Oof. you can check out our awesome Daddy content. Ian, if you had to tell people to watch one video on our YouTube channel, what would it be? Um, you know what? Go watch. Uh, go Kill Bin Laden. Kill Bin Laden is a great video. You should go watch. That's it. a classic. Man, That's remember classic. we ran ads. Um, yeah. Go check yeah, out that video. Uh, coming up on Tuesday, I think it is more Seven Days to Die, but on Thursday, yeah, might as well. You know what's on Thursday, buddy? We're staying up late Thursday. Ugh. Real late. I might take Friday off. What do you think is Thursday? Is it not? It's Thursday. What what are we watching? What what are we what are we what's what's the stream on Thursday? The uh, game awards. Yes it is. Yeah. There we go. 
I wasn't sure if you were talking about Cyberpunk because no, like no staying way. Staying up late. But I wonder if we should play Cyberpunk well while we watch the Game Awards. Oh, maybe. Game Awards, man. Oh. It's just like Jeff. What are you doing? Just Remember, run it wouldn't a end commercial last year. Oh my God. I don't want to oh. stay up that late. I might do that from the studio. I don't even know. Anyways, we're going to be doing that. We're going to be streaming it live. Um, it's going to be a watch along. Uh, come and join us. It should be fun. Yeah, it should be a good time. Until then, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Hunt270. You can find Ian on Twitter at Think Gibson. You can find all of our stuff, subpixelfilms.com, like I mentioned earlier, or us at Subpixel Team on the relevant socials. Until then, folks, have a lovely evening. And don't forget to change your clocks back in the fall. Spring forward. Bye. Bye.